Now it's time for Brother Love Drop. 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 Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In three, two, one. Ready? <laughs> three, two, one. Welcome, gentlemen, and lady or two that watches, to session six, week seven, episode fourteen of the Buffalo Draft League podcast. Simonson, Stanford. Hi. Uh, Simonson's Winery, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Coming where we're at. Coming to you as live as possible today because we need to make this quick. It's not really live at all, but whatever. It is to us. Whatever. Yeah, we're going to try and do this. The little cuts, you're going to cut all that out, so who cares? So anyways, uh, we got some news, <laughs> recap standings. Uh, no guest today, no. but we do have the return of, uh, between the two posts of the BDL six-pack preview predictions. With that, Mr. Stamper, take it away. So, news. We just will start with that. Uh, King of the Rink. Terminated. Terminated. Again. Another Dungan terminated. Another fail. Twice. Uh, one goal. So, you know, didn't get shut out. So, uh, uh, got so, hurt at one point. So, let's see. There's got to be somebody from another team that has a shot at next week's, right? Who's got yeah. next week's shot? Uh, Eric Sands. He plays on Balls Deep. Balls Deep. What the f- How many tickets did you guys buy? Good Lord. Twice, yeah. Twice Dungan and then... Uh, and, uh, yeah. Now we got Sands. Sands is going against... The aliens. Now, uh, memory serves me right. Last time, he had a hat trick. He did, yes. And uh, needs another one. Matt Casacci, I did read your post this time. He has a twenty-one point oh. something something chance of Ooh. success. That might be the highest rating. Yes. Probably correct me if I'm wrong, but I know there was another high one at one point. But twenty-one percent, almost twenty-two percent, seems pretty high. Yeah. So uh, good luck, Eric. I hope you win because they want to change some of the rules up. After this first round, so I'm excited to see the new rules. Sorry, Bill Dungan, you failed. Good luck, Eric Sands. I Dungan knew I went to the uh, get some X rays there. Did you see that? No, I did not. On yeah, his he, knee? yeah, oh yeah, he was very angry. Ooh, from the big fall. From the big fall. So Ooh. we'll see if he's back. So you guys, sure sometimes, sometimes the things that you think are just a little payback turn out to be a lot bigger. It's like the second time that happened, I think. Somebody else got hurt really bad. Injury prone. You better put that in your draft uh, order. Do I have to add a a durability kind? I mean... (laughs) All right. I got a lot of shit to think about in this draft. All right. So anyways, that's it. Eric Sands, good luck to you. Uh, Aliens, 630 if anybody wants to catch it. What's up next? Mike Montes was back. Dude, how's it feel to have your brother back in the league? You know what? It feels good. Uh, I'm a little nervous. I think the refs are going to be a little bit hard on him. He, uh, he has an ass that works for himself, and I think somebody's going to get it. Right? I think the benefit he has is the refs don't know him. Well, so, th- they're not going to like watch him. That's a possibility. But I think once they get a glimpse, they're going to focus right on him. Like, later. They'll get to know him. Like tractor beams. Welcome back. Bring, we'll just bring that up. Welcome Zero back. penalty minutes. So... Shocked. Over under was six. That's good. Six penalties. Yeah, was, or six I don't minutes. know who set that. But was geez. it six penalties or six minutes? I thought. I think they meant six minutes. It would have to be because you get three or no. Yeah. So. Well, that's what made it funny. So I just went with six minutes. So yeah, but he got zero. Uh, his team won. They were losing at first, but you know, we'll get into that. I guess later. Nice job. Nice job, Mike. Welcome back. Find uh, the queen. Sanchez is uh, running that raffle, so uh, get in on that. I don't know when he's going to start. Well, we believe 30 were sold, so we need 20 more. 20 more. And then uh, I believe we discussed we're going to take a little break from the collections of monies because, you know, one of the it's perks expensive. of this league was you pay, then you don't have to pay again for like 12, 13 weeks. Now I'm bringing 10, 15 bucks every week for raffles and things and things. And on that note, uh, if anybody wants to get in the Mega Millions, get in touch with me somehow. We'll uh, we'll combine up. We'll make a BDL, BDL, yeah, lotto thingy. So you should post one, something. One point six billion. I'll post that PayPal after the podcast. Maybe we'll do PayPal. We'll see. I just don't want to be that responsible for it. 
Well, I just want to collect money. If, if somebody wants to meet up, we'll, we'll come and collect the money. I don't. Yeah. That's more work, though. It is, but oh, okay. We'll we'll discuss it later. All right. Whatever you so, want to do. Yeah. Right. I'm running the shit. Fuck. You can tell who paid me on PayPal. You can't tell. Like, just take straight cash. I can be like, oh, there's only twenty of us. Yeah, you gotta shady. Mark it down. I'm shady. All right. So, anyways, yeah. that's it. Find the queen. Uh, I believe fifty fifty is gonna get drawn next week. I think I heard that. I didn't even know we still had one to tell you the truth. I think there's like 30 bucks in it maybe. That's okay. Just draw that and get it over with. And then uh, find the queen. Hopefully we wrap that up next week. And we can take a couple breaks. A couple weeks break uh, from uh, spending spending money. money. But also don't forget to uh, check out our uh, GoFundMe page. (laughs) All right. Cool. Hey, uh, Predator Curse curse Broken. uh, For those that don't know, uh, my team Predators, we've always been cursed. Never win anything. We won uh, a championship down at uh, the Res yesterday. Congratulations. Um, Rack played. He looked good. Looks a little slimmer. Uh, um, still uh, pretty aggressive there. Got but a fight. Got a fight. <laughs> got kicked out. Not his fault. Not his fault at all. They they were they were hacking. And Can't wait to get you back. I heard your ten pools oh. later. I'm I just excited yeah, about that. Just said that. Well, did you? Yeah. Oh well, that's Mike. Uh, listen, that's what that's I cool. do. So, anyways, whatever. I'm, I'm glad we won. Kanazi played, Spruity, uh, Kalto ran it. Uh, who else was there? Jesus. Uh, McGinnis. McGinnis played center. He did a really good job at center. Oh, really? Mm. We, we were down to one sub late, so we just did dumping. Is McGinnis always open to playing center? Oh, I don't know. That could affect draft status. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. So, All right. just want to throw it out there. Brag a little bit. Hey, American Indoors for sale. Who wants in? Do we? <laughs> Not really. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. <laughs> I, there's a plan in place. Somebody was mentioning it that uh, they were really looking uh, seriously into doing it. So um, somebody we all know. So that'd be cool. I don't want to say too much. Right. And if not, I like uh, Sean's idea on buying a pole barn and making our own place. So we'll see. See what happens. It's a long way to go, and I'm getting old. I don't feel like doing this kind of shit no more. That's right. All right. So, that's it. News over. Go Bills. Go Bills. On to recap. Let's recap this shit. 6.30. Aliens. Miyagi-Do. Great game. What happened? We played awesome. So, it was an awesome game. Uh, Six to five. Uh, we were down 3 nothing at the beginning. Looked like it was going to be a blowout. Didn't look like they were going to pull away, and somehow we kept it close. Uh, Zakowitz went on fire. Two goals, three assists. Uh, Rogers got, what, two assists? Yep. Two goals, just two assists. Yeah, it was just two assists. Yeah, so it was just a good game. Those good stats are game. correct because Zakowitz is over there hawking that. Yeah, no. Ooh. You got to. You want their stats right, you got to hawk them. That's just Unfortunately, kind of the way it is until we... But I did see, I will say this, I did see Miller out there at the beginning of our game taking numbers down. Yeah. So uh, props to Miller for uh, stepping it up a little bit, taking some numbers down. It didn't seem like it was that big of a deal this week. I didn't see a lot of people complaining. So uh, I had one person say a couple of assists were shorted by a couple people. There's I looked, they weren't fixed. And I also noticed something. I swear, after our game, we checked, and it was like 52 shots against on Shep. And when I looked today, it was like 47. Mm. That's kind of weird. Unless I'm just losing my mind. Well, maybe they took a couple shots away because they were... When they reviewed the tape. <laughs> they reviewed the tape? It was fine. Oh, because oh, you recorded... Oh, oh, that's right. I didn't record it. Damn. Next time, we'll work on that some more. We'll work on that some more. But uh, what are good aliens back in the win column? Yeah, I can go back in the loser column. So. Yeah, we are back. But it was a good game. It was a good game. Uh, once again, we were missing a somber rack and shot. Yeah. Aliens had a full what squad. Out. I think they might have been missing they Rex. Did. It was Rex. Rex is a pretty good player. So yeah. But uh, who? Al Rex. He's not on that team. He's on the Rippers. Okay. Can you please cut that out? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Whatever. Balls deep versus Cobra Kai. Seven thirty. It's almost half of the year. This was the King of the Rink game. As we mentioned before, uh, Mr. Dungan did not succeed. A new strategy employed on taking out the one going for it. You just break his knee. I guess. That was an interesting method, but it worked. It was effective. I did not see what I'm happened. Just kidding, Don. So I know it wasn't intentional. Oh, did you, did you see it? I did see it. What uh, happened? Dungan uh, got the ball, I believe. Kind of, they kind of were. It was rough. Don got up mad. Bill tripped. Hurt his knee. But that's the way it goes in hockey well, how did sometimes. He trip? 
because Don got mad. I didn't exactly see that. I saw like Don. I think Don stood up really fast and oh, okay. took took a leg it's out. Like a somehow. Sanchez thing. Yeah, kind of like. I don't. You know what? <laughs> you guys explain it. Uh, it was between Rukoff and uh, Duncan. That's all I know. I just saw Rukoff standing up and looking mad, getting that mad Rukoff face that I've seen before, and I don't like it. it scared Frank didn't go crazy this time. And then uh, Duncan went down and smashed his knees. So they can they can work out the details on what exactly went down if they want to. Otherwise, you know, hey, whatever. Either way, I, I saw on the stat sheet. Uh, I don't know. What they score here? Six goals, six day, six, six, six different balls deepers really? scored goals. Yeah, that's right. There wasn't a lot of high stats. So lots game. of balance. Uh, Stu played great. And uh, that's all I got for that one. Cool. Right. Eight thirty. Hockey Turtles versus Ultimate Predators. This was a great game. Game of the week, I would uh, venture to say. This was a game against. There's much talk if I, about. If game. I pick the league MVP now. It would be Neil Turvey. But all he does is score goals. I thought that that wasn't All he important. does is score hat tricks. Unless for, you're on him. Except for, yeah. Unless Scott Stamp. So, I don't want to brag about my team at all. I mean, we lost <laughs> in a shootout. But, Turvey, Barron, and Ertl, one point. Sa- Sanchez. One point. Sanchez gets the... Uh, one point. What are we going to call it? The bum of the week? <laughs> For uh, talking shit to the goalie. Here, Here it goes, there it goes. Man, he the makes the move. The Sanchez had him roasted. He did definitely beat the goalie. Oh. And then he flubbed his backhand. He pulled a Carney. Oh, he pulled a Bobby Rogers, a Carney. A Carney. Oh, yeah. Terrible! Okay, but either way, it was on. a good game. Both goalies played freaking outstanding. They did. they did, I believe. They, they, like, you know, you, you see all those shots, and you think, oh, they just it might be outside shots. They were getting pelted from yeah. inside. Um, it was a fun game to watch. It was they they did great. Shep Worthing, good job. It was Draft a good, week, good week for games. <laughs> good week for games, by the way. Yes. Good job, everybody. All right, on to the nine thirty game. Pink Sox four, Rippers three. Another good game. Now uh, the Rippers are are uh, thinking they would have just walked this game if they had their guys there. They were missing Pavada. Yep. They were missing uh, shit. I got it written down somewhere, but the Dempsey, the paper. Dempsey, Pavada, and Iliki. So oh, yeah. it's very easy to say that. Uh, balls or uh, Pink Sox were missing their goalie, so they had Denny in net. So some would say that was so a plus. Serafini wasn't there, uh, right? but they were missing Serafini. He might be one of the one of the better players in the yeah. league. So uh, say what you will, Pavad. I think you might have caught a break that Sarah Serafini wasn't there. So either way, I think it evened out. It was a great game, nonetheless. Pink Sox four, Rippers three. Um, Kanazi involved in all four points. Yep. Uh, so maybe we'll see him later in the six pack, and uh, that's that. We're not gonna see Favada there. Yeah, probably not because he wasn't there. That is true. Absent, and that's the recap. Let's hit the standings. Right, standings. Let's go from the bottom to the top. Bottom to the top. Let's start with number five. No, that's weird. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Cobra Kai. Zero and seven. The streak's alive. Miyagi Do. Two, four, and one. Ultimate Preds, three and four. Aliens, three, three and one. Take away the rest, Scott. If we had a tie in there, it'd be nice. What? Not a tie. What is it, overtime win? Jesus there. Christ. There you what go. year is this? You don't get to cut that either. We should go back to the ties. This we what happens when it's live. We say for this, this league. All right, number four, we got the Rippers. Uh, three balls deep, two turtles, and five pink socks. They the records. I guess they don't care. People don't care about records. I do. Pink socks, seven and oh, still undefeated. Seven and zero. All those are valiant attempt by numbers. Who do they play next week? Let's talk about that in next week's previews. Oh yeah, let's do that. Wait. Thank you, all black hockey sticks. <laughs> <laughs> you take the cardboard out. No, I don't want to yet. Oh why? Because I let that soak up some of the sweat first, and then I take it. Oh okay. It. Yeah, it helps form it. <laughs> you want to ever do that? No. Maybe that's just me. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. All right. Preview predictions brought to you by All Black Hockey Sticks. Yes. So last week Mike was two and two. I was three and one. I'm in trouble. I'm down two games now, fourteen to fourteen, to Scott sixteen and twelve. So see what happens this week. Six thirty game, Aliens versus Balls Deep. Consensus agrees on this one between us. Balls Deep takes this Balls one. Deep. Uh, how do you feel about Eric getting it? Do we I have... feel like Eric is going to get it. I feel like this is the week. Feel like it ends. What's your uh, confidence level? Like but on you a know scale what? of like when, 1 to 10. When I put a challenge out there to the aliens and Chris <laughs> Jones, 
He was up last. Yeah, Chris Jones cool. played great last yeah. week. So, man, I'm, man, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. I feel like that team doesn't really care about it as much as other teams do. No, the aliens. I think they. So, I don't feel like they're locked down on Sands. No, do you know what I'm saying? I don't no. think they'll focus on Sands like Cobra Kai, Miyagi-Do, Predators. I don't think they'll focus on them. They're not going to so. know. They're not going to care that he's just standing in front alone all the yes. time. Okay, because that's what he does yeah, in the slot. All alone, waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting for a turnover and it happens. It happens against us. Waiting. Nope. Go, go, go. Yeah. Three goals. Sands, if you win, I got confidence in you. You can give me 50 bucks or something. Ah. That's cool. I'm voting for it. I'm voting for you. All right, on to the 7.30 game. Cobra Kai versus Miyagi-Do. Well, I'm going to go with uh, Miyagi-Do. Why, thank you, Scott. So am I. <laughs> I mean, Somber's coming back, right? Yes, Somber will be back. The return of Sonberg, hopefully for the, the rest of the season. second meeting, what happened in the first one? Do you remember? Uh, I believe it was a close game. And we had everybody. It was the first game of the season. Yeah, so, so all these matchups are what happened this week could be a, This could be a close game. Uh, that was a game, uh, I think Kasachi, like stood on his head. Probably, yeah. Ryan Kasachi. That probably should have been their first game of the, the their first win of the year. Yeah. So we'll see what happens now that everybody's starting to get on the same page on their team, so everyone's starting to gel. That's what I'm looking for. Gel is the word. Gel. So, uh, Are you gelling? We're think, I think we're gelling, but now we're going to get three new guys back soon, so you know we'll ungel. Until then, we'll keep trying to gel. So, Okay, Scott, 8.30. Uh, Hockey Turtles versus the Pink Sox. This will probably, yeah, this will be the game uh, of the I'm week. I'm saying game of the week if we can figure out a I way really to push record. I really hope all players show up for this game because this is number one and number two. Power rankings one and two. Captain of the Hockey Turtles have said that he thinks they're number one. So it should be a good game. I'm going with the champs right now, Pink Sox. I'm, staying I'm gonna with the Pink go Sox. Hockey Turtles. Mm-hmm. So, so there's our first difference of the week. It's good. I got one, one. Even though I just shut them down, I mean my team just shut shut them the down. Turtles down. Nice. So secondary scoring uh, though. That's how they beat us. Need both goalies to bring their A game. Teams bring their A game. This is a big matchup. It's funny because it used to not matter in the regular season. It's just I know, right? So I want to say it'll be low scoring. I'm thinking, uh, oh, let's do a score prediction for this one. I'm going to say 8 to 6. Oh, Jesus. Pink Sox. <laughs> I'm going to go 3 to 2. I'm saying 8 6 Pink Sox. 3 2 Turtles in overtime. Too much firepower for that to be a 3 2 game. Yeah. 8 6 Pink Sox. Everybody show up. Yes. 9 30. Rippers. Predators. You got a 9 30 game. Oh, well, look, you picked both teams. I got to put two hours of vacation in for work. Yeah. I did, didn't I? Yeah, you picked both teams. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lose. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Predators here. What? Hey, guys. You're picking your own team? I can't lose. Yeah. None of that? Nice, because I'm going with the Rippers. So I got a chance to catch you this case, week. Favada, here's your chance, man. Nevada's getting too cocky. Here's your chance, man. And Come on. I'm going to shut them down. So Show me that you deserve to be in that top three of the, the power rankings, which I think I might have you in. But we'll see. Anyways. So, yeah, that'll uh, probably be a good game. I don't know. We'll see. So that's it. Nice job. Good luck, everybody. Scott, I hope I beat you. It's time for the six-pack. Put numbers in a hand. I'm thinking of number one through six. Four. I didn't think of it yet. Oh, sorry. I'm thinking of a number. Think of an odd or even. Okay, you look there. Okay. I'm thinking of a number one through six. Okay. Wait, this isn't there. That's stupid. I don't know where I'm going there. All right, <laughs> Brett Wortley. Wortling? How do you say his name? I believe it's Wortling. Congratulations, you've made it to the BDL six pack. 30 saves, .937 save percentage. And a shootout win. Uh, got to rub it in Paul Sanchez's face. I love saying that. <laughs> I'll point it at him. Here it comes. Cool. <laughs> okay, Paulie. <laughs> oh, terrible. You already lived that. So, oh, damn. congratulations, Brett Wardling. Uh, you've made it to the BDL six pack. Yeah. Who's up, Scott? I'm going to go Mike Kanazzi here. A goal, three assists, and the Pink Sox win. Uh, a point on every, every goal in the every game. Every goal in the game for Pink Sox. So, 
you know, that guy can pass. It's he impressive. played the tournament yesterday, uh, he was passing well. One of only, God, what was it, four or five people that had multi-point games this week. There was not that many. No, not many. Not uh, many multi-point throw games. throw a shout-out to Steve Davis. He had a goal, three, two assists, but not enough to make a six-pack. Hey, we can get a case of beer, maybe you're in there. All right, yeah, I like that. <laughs> We're bribing people yeah. for the six-pack. I like it. All right, well, that brings it to another one. Uh, Pat Burtis deserves a slot in the BDL six-pack with a two-goal, two-assist performance. Uh, the uh, Possibly a third assist. Possibly a third, but uh, he did get an assist on the game-winning goal. I know that because he outworked three of us along the backboards and popped it to Degatti in front, who took a quick shot, put it in, game-winner. Degatti had two goals. That was it. Yeah, Degatti had a good game. So I'm going to go with... Uh, We'll throw Kevin Zakowitz in the sick pack. Nice, Kevin. Two goals, three assists. I'm sorry, three goals, two assists. What are you going to say? He's probably flipping out looking He's at his paper. He's not a passer. <laughs> Just after Three goals, two assists, 85 speed, uh, and a loss. <laughs> what? 85 speed, I like it. Congratulations, Kevin. You're in the six pack this week. All right. Let's also welcome to the six pack for the first time, I believe, Shep. What a game. Stood on his head. Uh, I believe the highest save percentage of the week was point nine five seven in a lost in a shootout. Forty five saves, give or take. I'm sure it might have been more, might have been less. No, it is. They're clicking. They're doing their best. Oh, the yeah, refs yeah, are yeah, clicking yeah. the thing when it goes. Plus or minus ten. The fact that we know there was close to forty five shots either way, yeah, is a pretty impressive game, and pretty impressive that we keep that stat. So. And I don't know why they don't do it on other nights. But anyways, Chef, that was a great, great performance. Yeah, uh, we watched. Everyone was back. Sitting back watching, go. He's in his own. He's in his own. Played the player's got a chance. He's in his own. Played so, great. Good job. But he was outdone by Brett. Who you already said. Who you already said. I was right. trying to segue there. That would I was trying job. to segue, but because because I was thinking Rezel was on the turtles. <laughs> but Rezel's on the Rebels. We don't so know who Rezel, Rezel ever plays for. Welcome so. to the BDL six pack. That's right. Congratulations on making it. Uh, Forty six point nine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Save against percentage shots, whatever that is. SA. What is SA? Save, Save percentage. percentage yeah. oh, sorry. I thought it was SB. I don't know, man. I just do this right quick. I was like, sorry. Sh- I was like, shots against. I gotta do this shit right. I gotta do it right. I thought he said shots against percentage. All right, no, anyways. Sorry. So 40 saves, .909 save percentage. We'll round that up to 91. But a uh, great game by Rezl, and I believe that's everybody. Yeah. He yells uh, six pack. Ooh, cheers. Cheers. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, whatever. Next. <laughs> but uh, until we get to the power rankings. Uh, oh. Between two posts with Ryan Kasachi. Oh, hello there. Howdy. I'm Ryan Kasachi. And you're between two posts. And I'm here with Mike the Maniac Montes. Mike, please introduce yourself to everybody. Mike Monteith, uh, pretty much a uh, highly penalized player who has been out injured for a few months and excited to get back in. Well, uh, we are happy to have you back. Thank I know you. that you've, you've been here uh, since the inaugural season. That's Yeah, that's right. So that's right. You, you've missed it. We've missed yeah. you. So. I, I do miss it, and I look at the internet and watch the uh, Facebook posts and the podcast, and it looks like you guys have a lot of fun, so yeah, yeah. Um, I'm glad to be back. So everyone's talking about the, the new refs, that's the, uh, the big topic, is the new refs. How do you feel? Is it going to change your game? Are you going to well, still be hard in the corner? Hockey's hockey, yeah. so I don't think I'll change how I play, but I do, someone pointed out earlier today that they don't know me yet, yeah. so hopefully... Um, Are they going to know you? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm playing forward, I guess, so that'll be, I don't really get many penalties when I play forward because I try to avoid... The other team, or when I'm playing defense, I pretty much try to always make contact with every person. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully, I'll be better off. I, you know, honestly, I don't get upset. I don't the team doesn't get upset, but I just play and have a good time. But, uh, now you're you're coming into the session uh, on pink socks. Yes. So uh, you, you, you're, you're you're coming right in uh, to the best team in the league right now, uh, undefeated. So how do you how do you feel about coming on stepping onto a roster that's already proven that they're kind of running forward <laughs> Listen, right now? The way you say that, it sounds negative. I, 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 I'm taking offense to that because there's many NHL Hall of Famers who have left their team to go win a cup somewhere. Yeah. Okay? I'm just, am I Messier? Am I Hatch? Who am I? Uh, well, I would say Messier. It's got to be Messier. Yeah, so but, uh, play, you know, you so I think that's what it is. I don't think it's a comeback story. I think it's a, a probably a perennial all-star surefire Hall of Famer yeah. just stepping into a cup opportunity. It's no big, yeah, it's no big deal. You know, yeah. it's just another day in the office for you. <laughs> so. 
Well, I hope so. And to be all honest, I took some warm-up shots, and my yeah. knee felt a little weird. Mm-hmm. And um, my biggest concern is that I'll be too tentative. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Well, we'll, we'll be watching you out there. And yeah. uh, I think I speak for the entire league when I say that, uh, you know, we're, we're happy to have you back. It's well, I appreciate to see that. back around. It's fun. Uh, Thank you very much. Luck for everything. I appreciate it. So, well, I'd like to come out with a win tonight, and uh, I, I hope can so. be part of it. I hope so, too. I hope, so. I hope to see you on the stat sheet, in the, the correct side. Or the right of the side of the line, sheet. yes. But, uh, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching this episode for Between Two Posts. Uh, hopefully, see you next week. I kind of like that format with uh, them at the bar and the game playing in the background. Yeah, but when they make an announcement, it's loud. <laughs> and you can hear it in the stupid machines playing J-Lo. <laughs> I mean, what else are we going to do, you know? I love it. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> I can't wait till this is then, then I go play my game. I'm on the bench singing. Like, Jesus. That's funny shit. Well, I got ball Z out of my head. All right. Well, we're back. Uh, time for the power rankings. Disclaimer. These do not mean shit. They're just our views on how the team's strengths are ranked They right mean now. everything. So, uh, hope you're not too upset. Number eight for Mike Cobra Kai. I gotta got get Cobra that win. Kai. Gotta get that win. Cobra You're getting Kai close. Well. They're getting close. You as well. They're getting close. Yes. Right. Hit up your number seven, my man. Miyagi Do. Mike's well, not too happy with that, but my most controversial pick here. And I you just know will what? Not go over well. When Somber comes back, maybe we'll see. Is he gonna come back 100? percent That's where I'm thinking. Like my my most controversial pick. He might be timid. I'm leaving the aliens at number seven. Oh, even though they beat us, they did a great game. Yeah, I gotta leave them at seven. We we're very short-handed. They were not. I don't know who the hell they were missing because I don't know who the hell's on the roster. <laughs> they were missing somebody. No, he's not on that team. Damn, he's on the Rippers. <laughs> oh, I know. They, they were missing Russell. No, they were not missing <laughs> on the Rippers too. <laughs> I feel we're like they had it by almost their full team. They might have been missing one person. But who were they missing? I don't think they're missing anybody. So was Berta there? Berta was there. Berta was there. Yep. So this has nothing to do with Berna's trying to sell my hockey sticks on Craigslist or wherever the hell it was. I was trying to sell them. You didn't notice that? Did no. anybody notice that? No. It was my name up there. Oh, what? And Berna found them? No, he put the Craigslist. Oh, it was. Put I it was here. selling them. Like, I didn't notice that. that. I, didn't I noticed, noticed that. that. Pat, that was good. Nicely done. I thought Pat. that was funny. Am I going to get the money for that? Or? But no, this has nothing to do with that. It's just because we were short on guys, and Somberg's coming back. We're going to have Somberg back. We're going to have uh, Jim Shad, who's found his scoring touch. I don't know if oh, yeah. Heard. He's a goal scorer now, so Wednesday I'm looking night, forward to next week. Goals. We'll have two more guys back. We'll have some subs back. Who do we play next week? Um, Cobra Kai. Yeah. Oh, See yeah. what's up. Yeah. See what's up. So oh, it'll be, nice, be nice to have Somberg shot back. Rack uh, yeah, another month or two, so. You got another 10 pounds to lose. Uh, <laughs> Great. Like what, five weeks? That'd be awesome. Five or six weeks left for Rack. So, anyways, that's why I got the aliens on a seven. I feel like they should have beat us a lot a lot worse than they did. Maybe they let up, and maybe now they'll understand they shouldn't let up. Just, if you did, thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> I should have put you higher. No, you. That puts me at number six, Miyagi-Do. Our team, Miyagi-Do, number six. Uh, a great effort. Uh, Sombert's back. Things are on the up. We're rising. We're rising. We lose to Cobra Kai, we'll be an eight. So, uh, there you go. You know, that is a good point. Who's, who's your number six? Man, when you guys lose, I mean, uh, our oh, number six. Whoa. No, I picked you guys. Our number, my number six is the uh, my team, Ultimate Predators. Um, I don't know, we're just good game, bad game. Chef played great. Inconsistent. Couldn't score. We got to find these lines out. You like firing I your mean, team up by picking them up. I'm not scoring. Um, we got to get Preichel and Quarko going. So we need out of time. Harky, you need to show up, buddy. Come on. I know you're at Metallica, but you know, We're running out of time. They've been around for a while. I'm sure you've seen them before. <laughs> Skip the concerts. Right. Could have used you. Who's your number five? Number five, Aliens. Reason? Because they won. And I think they're number five. Okay. My number five is Balls Deep. 
I think last week, what did I have in aliens? I had him lower, didn't I? No, I think I had him at five last week, too. I'm going number five, balls deep. Uh, I believe that raised them up from last week. Maybe. For you, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, anyways, you're up to number five. Uh, great game. Was against Cobra Kai, who's number eight, so I can't give you too much. Oh, props see on how that. Mike's so, works. Uh, yeah, good game. Uh, next week, there's a big chance to move. Well, it wouldn't be because I have aliens at number seven, so... We'll see what happens. They're just fucking power rankings. Who gives a shit? Damn. My number four, Predators. Great game against one of the top teams in the Turtles. I think you deserve to at least be in the top four. Thanks. That's that. Yeah, it was the Turtles, you know. You're they are four. undefeated. We took a good shootout. Yeah. I didn't score. That's why I have you in four. Where you got yourself. Uh, number six. Okay. All right. All right. My number four is the Rippers. Played a great game against Pink Sox without... Uh, pretty much half their team, so I gotta keep them up ahead of, ahead of us, ahead of aliens. So and I'm going balls deep at number three because wow. I can't, I can't, I, I can't knock the hustle. <laughs> can't knock the Jesus. hustle. I like it. Hustle can get you places. Yeah. They do hustle. It's tough to play against teams that are always on you. I'll give them that. So balance my number scoring. three. Who is? Balance scoring. Balance, balance scoring. scoring. No doubt. Impressive the team. My number three. Without Eric Sands, by the way. He wasn't there? No. Really? Pretty so sure. he's going to be rested and ready for this. Yeah. Game. Shit. Was he having talented too? I don't know where he was. Uh, my Rangers. number three, the uh, Rippers. The Rippers up to number three. Uh, solid performance, missing two of their top guys. And Dempsey, I'm, I apologize. Maybe three of their top guys. I don't yeah, I don't think Dempsey was there. Is Dempsey on the Rippers? Yeah. Mm. John Rex Dempsey is on the Rippers. Al Rex is on the Rippers. Guess who else is on the Rippers? Rezzo. I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> yeah, so they only have one sub, if I remember that, right? Two Three subs? Very short bench. One yeah. or two, yeah. So, great job, good effort. Uh, Pink Sox pulled it out in the end, though, so. Brings me to mind number two, Hockey Turtles. Uh, beat a pretty decent team in the Predators in the shootout. It was a great game. We didn't say anything else. Yeah, I got them too, and then the Pink Sox. So Pink we Sox got that. One. Pink Sox, you're there until you lose. Uh, this is the game of the week. Pink Sox versus the Hockey Turtles. Everyone enjoy that game. Power I'm rankings looking forward to it. are like, you're holding them hostage right now because this whole week, everybody's just going to be like, oh my god. And if you know, Pink Sox wins, okay, boring, but if the Hockey Turtles wins, are the power rankings going to change? I what's the score? How, yes. You know, what's the scenario? How did it happen? Who shows up? Who, who doesn't? Who didn't attend? Does so, things make a difference? Should be interesting. We'll see what happens. Uh, Turtles, I do think you have a great chance. I would put this game at a, what, what's what's an even odd? Like 3-2? Uh, I said three to two. You said no, I'm not six. saying the score. Odds like three to one odds that who wins. Uh, that, that's a bad odd. Right? Right, it's fifty fifty. Okay, whatever. Fifty fifty. Fifty I mean, percent chance. You look you look goaltending wise. We're okay. playing. Let's do a percentage. I would say that there is a sixty percent chance Pink Sox wins. Forty percent chance that Turtles win. That's a close game. I think that's close. What time is this game at? Nine thirty. Oh, I don't know. If Chad. I don't even know if it's at nine thirty. It. No, it's not. It's at eight thirty. Eight thirty. Chad should be there. I think Chad has a tough time with late games. Let's just make sure about that. Yeah, 8.30. So, yeah, Chad should be there. So, I think it's very even on the goaltending front. So, so yeah, I think this is going to be... Okay, maybe 55-45. That sounds better. 55% chance. Why are you putting numbers on everything? Because it's fun. Fuck, why? Why, why do I always complain about this it? shit all the time? Why do I got to quantify it? What the fuck does that mean? What does that even mean, Zach Woods? Quantify people getting injured a lot. Can't. That's just luck. <laughs> you, you can't can. put numbers on somebody getting hurt. You can't put numbers on uh, what the hell are you guys arguing about last week? Intangibles. Intangibles. You can't put a number on that. You're like, you can. Really can. So you can put a number on somebody getting hurt. You just can't put them all in one. Oh, what the fuck? We're done. Nerd. We're done. Bills. Bills game coming up for us. Anyways. Go Bills. Go Bills. Go your favorite NFL team. I don't care. Um, whatever okay. salt. Whatever we forgot, they can complain <laughs> about. Dan P can criticize us. I think he takes notes every week and says, "You were supposed to bring that up." Love you, Dan P. Dan, Dan P. Great goal, by the way. It's fucking smoking shot. 
Did he really score? Goal. He did have a goal. Was Smoking I on, was shot I on the, the point. Was I out there? I don't know if I was. I don't know. He actually had a goal and an assist, one of the few uh, multi-point players this week. So. Oh, man. A little late shout out to Dan Pete. He had more points than all three of the leading scorers on Terrells. Wow. So. And that's why they lost. According yeah. to all right, so anyway. Put that in your shell and smoke it. Ooh, nice. On that note. Oh, well, speaking of which. Oh, here goes. See, we didn't remember something. Yeah, they came out in their Ninja Turtle shit, and they didn't oh. tell me I would have had the Predator helmet. That would have been nice. You know? Could I have a little picture. You should just cool. bring it anyways. You should just put it in your car. Uh, in the back window. Leave it there. It's not going to work. Good job on dressing up. This league's fun. Yes, I love it. It's cool. awesome. I'm glad we're back to playing games and no drama. So uh, let's keep it this way. It's becoming a fun year. So uh, until next time, you can grow old or you can keep playing. See you next Thursday. Go Bills. I think we're done. Sabres won last night. We're done already? We pound through this and about... I go got three crap assists. Oh, does it matter that they were crap assists? Oh, you're one of those guys? Oh, we didn't get the millennial, we didn't get the generational player. Blah, 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 blah. Just bugs me. He's enough. the number two pick. He was not the number right. one pick. Right. So I know. stop expecting him to be in the game. I and didn't lump him in with, with them. Who is? Everybody else did. Well, so you're just and like, that's why I so, so because he's not, you have to be upset like everybody else. Because I expected greatness. He is great. He's the best saver on the team. He's not Big David or Matthews. Right. And that's he was also you. really good. Miroslav Shatan. Yeah. He led the he led the team to score one year. You know who else did? Derek Roy. Yeah. Like, you know how you know also how old they were when they led the team. I don't they care. could drink. I don't care. I don't care. Get your shit like old. Hey, no, I, it's not a I'm negative. Not, it's not a, it's not a negative fans. thing. It's just a depressed like. I don't know. Why can't Josh Allen goes so We, we no. got a guy this year. We finished three three times. We get a shot at a guy, and we get we don't get that guy. Oh, and that's why we they got do the lottery. That's just cool. Oh, he's not good enough either. He should have like six goals by now. Well, this team doesn't horrible. score, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sabres podcast. He just some of you fucking buffalo fans. What do you mean, some, some of you? Pagula, Pagula sucks. He hates everybody. He just wants that. chat. All he wants is our money. I just, it just bugs me or depresses me that, you know. He doesn't, he doesn't care about us. He's like, like, oh, this is a generational player. And I'm pretty sure he's just, you know, he's a good player. Take the game over. He's a great player. He's not an elite player. He's a great player. Sorry. You happy? Put him in a tier. He is. What he's tier? tier? No, well, he's not. He's in a great tier. He's yeah. in tier one. Well, God damn it, I want elite. elite. Elite than tier one. Well, maybe he will be elite when he's 24. Ah, maybe. Maybe not.